So, today is the um, 14th of August 2022 um, and this is the next video in a series. A lot of you have been asking, do we save money with these batteries? If we invest some money, do we actually save money? So this video is about efficiency really and how much you actually save. Now I've been having a run in total um, every day, measuring a meter and I've time it for seven days. Now, in seven days, um, I worked it out um, from last Sunday, um, which is seven days ago, um, which was obviously the um, 7th of um, August. And we're in a heat wave at the minute, um, so the sun's shining every day, um, temperatures are very high. Um, I worked it out. Um, there's a four bedroom house, um, there's a lot of appliances on, people are in during the day watching TV, on computers, etc, etc. So this is probably not typical usage, but, you know, it's probably more than typical usage, um, you know, in comparison to someone who just uses typically in a four-bedroom house, e.g. someone who actually comes home at five o'clock and uses appliances. These batteries are being charged for free um, from the solar panels, as you can see yourself there. So today, if you have a look, we're getting 2.79 kilowatts coming from the solar panels. We've got zero grid, so that's good. So nothing coming from inside, so we're saving money anyway because we, we're getting everything for free. The batteries have been charged up at 2.28 kilowatts. The consumption is 0.52 kilowatts. Now, if you work it out, um, a typical four-bedroom house will consume 15 to 16 units of electric per day. Um, this is with washing machines on, um, dishwashers on, computers on, etc, etc. Now, at the current rate, which is the 14th of August, the variable tariff, which is 1972 per year, um, you're looking at 27 pence per unit. And this is the current tariff for 14th of um, August. It's going to go up in it on the 28th of August to earn 3,300. So you can calculate... From the 27 pence a day it's probably going to be about 60 pence a unit but these figures are based on a 27 pence per unit which is a variable um price cap which the energy company is maximum we can charge you and um, so if you work it out and um, if you didn't have these batteries um, and you just had a solar panels upstairs and um, you would typically still use 15 units from the grid per day um, which equates to um, you know about five or six pound a day which equates to obviously in seven days 32 pounds approximately um, per week this is without the batteries just with the solar panels up the best um, and this is a four bedroom house with loads of appliances on etc now your usage might be lower or higher it depends on how you use your electric but with these batteries for this particular week and beginning of 7th of August the electrical cost, which we've obviously calculated, is just £1.56 compared to £32.86 if you didn't have these seven batteries. Now, these seven batteries are going to output in 20 kilowatts. So they've got 20 kilowatt storage. And during a week, they're fully charged because the sun's been out, etc. In, in the UK. They are fully charged at 20 kilowatts. So you can work out every day they're charging up, etc. Even though... The, even though the, they're not charging up. You still utilize the battery for whatever's left, whatever's left in it. And your inverter does that. So if you put a kettle on and you might have half a battery. The battery, if it's got half of charge, even a, even 10% charge or whatever it's got, it will still obviously help you with the load in your house. So you're still saving money and the battery don't need to be fully charged. But typically this week, the battery has been fully charged happy away and um, so in essence you've saved yourself 30 quid this week if you use 15 units a day and um, providing the sun's come out your batteries are free so it's free electric and um, so you know you've saved yourself 30 pounds so if you look about these batteries these are a 10 year warranty on each battery with the manufacturer so you could save yourself a quite a lot of money 120 130 pound a week during summer and um, and obviously if you press out for a year, um, they say typically with just with solar panels, a four kilowatt system, you still have 300 pounds. But if you've got batteries, the bigger capacity you have, the more you're going to save. 
that's probably above a thousand pounds minimum that's how much you're saving so you know it's worthwhile getting them investing in them and um, they have a 10 year warranty and obviously if you need any help in installing them or setting them up let me know this video is from the real world I and mean, this is a real world installation it may be messy but it's designed like that I mean, it, the wires could be tidier, but I don't want any comments about it being messy, etc. By idiots you get on YouTube. I'm trying to portray what are the advantages of having these batteries. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.